Hello passion fruits and welcome to another very educational owl video. And I'm super excited about this video because a lot of you have been asking me about the anatomy of an owl's eye. <laughs> Lucky is wanting to be a diva, so yeah. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about the anatomy of an owl's eye and also a lot of questions like can owls... Lucky, get back here. People want to see your cute face. And also... Oh, don't poop. If you poop, do it on the blanket. Okay. And also a lot of questions like can owls see colors? Can they only see when it's pitch dark? And lots of questions like that. In this video, you'll get an answer to all of those questions and you'll learn everything about the anatomy of an owl's eye. Now, before we get into the video, please just pause the video and give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. You guys know that I've been struggling these... <laughs> nah, is she going to move position? change position or poop. I don't know. You guys know that I have been struggling these past few weeks and that's the reason why I look so weird and my eyes, I have bags under my eyes, but I'm still really motivated to make vi videos for you guys, even though it's really hard right now. So please take a moment to give this video a big thumbs up so that my channel can keep growing and evolving. And also please take the time to pause the video otherwise you'll forget and write down in the comments um, all of your questions about owls or owl care because I'm going to create an audiobook and an ebook um, answering the most asked questions um, about owls and owl care so that the people who don't necessarily have a lot of time to learn about owls and owl care can still learn because audiobooks are great for people who don't actually have the time to sit down and read a book. You can listen to audiobooks. Come back here. <laughs> no, come back. You can listen to audiobooks while you're sitting on the bus on your way to work or you can listen to audiobooks when you're at the gym working out. Um, you can listen to an audiobook while cooking. So yeah, it's just an idea I had and let me know in the comments if you would like that. I would not ask for a lot of money. I would sell the audiobook and the ebook, of course, but I wouldn't ask for a very high price um, because it's not an entire book about how to keep an owl. It's just, you know, I'm planning on creating different books audiobooks and ebooks. Um, is she going to poop or not? Uh, and she's gone. I'm going to make different books um, we're answering a lot of questions. So there are going to be different editions and that's why the price is not going to be very high. But that's also something I'm very excited, excited about um, because this means that I can, you know, deliver the books pretty fast. It's not going to take me two years to write them or speak them, if you will. And it's affordable for you guys. So I guess it's a win-win situation. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments of this video. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Of all an owl's features, perhaps the most striking is its eyes. Large and forward-facing, they may account for 1-5% to of the owl's body weight, depending on species. The forward-facing aspect of the eyes that give an owl its wise appearance also give it a wide range of binocular vision, seeing an object with both eyes at the same time. This means the owl can see objects in three dimensions, height, width and depth, and can judge distances in a similar way to humans. The field of view for an owl is about 110 degrees, with about 70 degrees being binocular vision. By comparison, humans have a field of view that covers 180 degrees, with 140 degrees being binocular. 
A woodcock has an amazing 360 degree field of view because its eyes are on the side of its head. However, less than 10 degrees of this is binocular. An owl's eyes are large in order to improve their efficiency, especially under low light conditions. In fact, the eyes are so well developed that they are not eyeballs actually, but elongated tubes. They are held in place by bony structures in the skull called sclerotic rings. For this reason, an owl cannot roll or move its eyes, it can only look straight ahead. The owl more than makes up for this by being able to turn its head up to 270 degrees left or right from the forward facing position and almost upside down. As most owls are active at night, their eyes must be very efficient at collecting and processing light. This starts with a large cornea, the transparent outer coating of the eye, and pupil, the opening at the center of the eye. The pupil's size is controlled by the iris, the colored membrane suspended between the cornea and lens. When the pupil is larger, more light passes through the lens and onto the large retina, light-sensitive tissue on which the image is formed. The retina of an owl's eye has an abundance of light-sensitive rod-shaped cells appropriately called rod cells. Although these cells are very sensitive to light and movement, they do not react well to color. Cells that do react to color are called cone cells because they are shaped like a cone. And an owl's eye possesses few of these, so most owls see in limited color or in monochrome. Since owls have extraordinary night vision, it is often thought that they are blind in strong light. This is not true, because their pupils have a wide range of adjustment, allowing the right amount of light to strike the retina. Some species of owls can actually see better than humans in bright light. To protect their eyes, owls are equipped with three eyelids. They have a normal upper and lower eyelid, the upper closing when the owl blinks and the lower closing up when the owl is asleep. The third eyelid is called a nictitating membrane and is a thin layer of tissue that closes diagonally across the eye from the inside to the outside. This cleans and protects the surface of the eye. So guys, as you can see, there's a lot to learn about the owl's eyes and I personally find it super interesting. If you would like to learn more about other parts of the owl's body, like the ears for example, let me know in the comments and I'll make that video as soon as I can. For now, I just hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!